Hello, my name is Walter, and uh, this is a review for you. Um, I actually did one, but I was super tired, so I don't know <laughs> if I should put that out. Um, but yeah, this this movie, Wonder Woman. I'm doing Wonder Woman, obviously. I just watched it. Uh, I wish I brought a girl with me. Seriously, like I don't know, cause it's, I can't. I can't really say this is empowering for women, cause I'm not that gender. I I'm male, obviously, and. Um, I, I can't say it's, it's the best movie I've ever seen in my life. Um, it's definitely better than uh, Batman v Superman. Uh, the action sequences, yes, is really good, but some of the uh, some of the um, slow motion shots can get a little grating for me. Um, I really enjoyed the visuals. Some of the visuals were really awesome. Uh, Paradise Island, it's really cool. Uh, I wish we had known about. I wish we known more about the side characters, as in like NTOP, you know, where I really thought that was a missed opportunity. I thought that she could have been really that mentor for Gal Gadot, uh, for Wonder Woman in general, and uh, I really thought we were gonna have more of a emotional point for that. But and I think that that's what. That's what really, that's what really, kind of plays into my mindset because I'm just looking at this for the story, for the plot, and for the visuals. You know, I always say there's three things for me you need to go on: um, story, plot, and characters. And if you don't have characters, you need to you need to impress me with the visuals. And he certainly did that. And um, I obviously don't want to give bad vibes to Zack Snyder. I hope that he's doing well. I hope that he's resting well. I hope that he doesn't think that I do not like this movie. I do. It's just that I felt that was there that there were so much missed opportunity, and because there were so much trailers, I, I swear to God, there was like five trailers all throughout uh, before this movie even started. I felt I was oversaturated by the trailers that I watched and um, you know that that's what hinders my my ability to, to talk about this movie because I, I already saw all of those scenes that that were in the movie the first part of it you know where she's walking to the Louvre um, I saw that in the trailer you know I remember the first trailer I watched with you guys uh, that was in the first trailer um, the part where Chris Pine comes in a plane and shoots the base that was in the trailer. Uh, the part where um, the comic side relief, the comic side relief, um, was like, but I'm not opposed to interacting with a bit of fisticuffs. That was in the trailer. Um, but obviously some of the other things were not in the trailer. Uh, and I was like, okay, okay, I can forgive some of that. I mean, you know, some of the stuff that was on were in the trailer, but played really well into the story in general. Um, and I just gotta say some, like, I'm just gonna nitpick a little bit before I give good points here. Uh, I really thought the CGI was very, very, very grading because some of the some of this fighting scenes again I was like okay I know you need to put CGI in there and I, I was like I, I'll forget that I'll forget that and then at one point I was like yeah I don't know I don't know if I can I don't know if I can because <laughs> this is disturbing me because when you see like obvious CGI and it's really 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 obvious it's just like oh my god that's, that's not good um, I definitely say the third act was quite stretched, but then again, I, I definitely think we needed to see her come up and, and you know, her just um, managing to to defeat Ares, the God of War, and uh, all throughout this movie, I was like, you know what, I'm playing God of War all over again, because. <laughs> This is really something like from the video game, uh, and of course, obviously, it's still from uh, still Ares, and I was like, you know what, 
we may need Kratos in the DC universe. I don't know. You know, maybe one day, Kratos is like, yeah, yeah, Wonder Woman, I killed, I killed, uh, the God of War, but you just destroyed him. <laughs> Something along those lines. I don't know. Um, at this point, I am talking about this movie. IMDb reports it to be 8.2 out of 10 and Rotten Tomatoes has certified fresh for Wonder Woman and I definitely think the Marvel fanboys are gonna be like oh that's because you don't see a Marvel movie before a DC movie who does that and also there wasn't a Marvel movie before this DC movie therefore their opinions are not good enough because there wasn't a Marvel movie for them to work off of and I have to kind of agree I definitely do have to kind of agree be because before Suicide Squad before Batman v Superman what did we get? Avengers what did we get? Captain America. So, yeah. Definitely, I definitely think this is really a good strategy from DC to put uh, Wonder Woman in June. Meanwhile, uh, Spider-Man is still in July. And um, for me, you know, this is a really averagely good movie. Leading on better than Suicide Squad and Batman v Superman so I definitely understand why it's 8.2 I definitely understand why it's 92% on um, Rotten Tomatoes but I can't bring myself to give that high because I'm seeing so many things that I'm just like nah yeah nah okay yo that's awesome yeah okay so it's definitely like meh yay and then meh till the end so I'm like I don't know that's why I definitely think I should have brought a girl or a girl of my age like 21, 20 you know not necessarily a date but a, a friendly movie outgoing thing because I would with my guy friends and obviously we, we joked around we made sexual jokes and there was a lot of sexual jokes in the movie itself like so i don't know if that's empowering women or it's just like that's just that's just for the guys in the section um because there was one part in the uh, the movie where you know uh wonder woman is in the boat with chris pine I don't know his name, I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> that's why I think there should have been more story for the side characters. Um, but yeah, there was definitely a scene where uh, they were on the boat together and Wonder Woman was like, Don't you want to sleep with me? And my friends were like, <laughs> giggling like fucking fifth graders, I don't know. But I'd be like, yeah buddy, get some. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Chris Pine was like trying to explain to her, um, trying to explain to her that you know, normally, men and women don't sleep together unless they're married. And, you know, she's always like, but what does that even mean? And then Chris Pine just gives up and like, okay, okay, I'll sleep with you. And obviously, she means sleep together on the boat, but on different sides, not, not the sexual one that we were all thinking, obviously. Um, and... Yeah, my, my friend actually asked me something and I was like, you know, this is really easy to explain. And he asked this, he asked that, um, how come she's, how come she's so smart? You know, she's intellectually smart, you know, she reads a lot of books, you know, she, she knows the Kama Sudra. And, you know, she knows about, you know, biological procreation, which is sex. And she knows all of these things, but she doesn't know about the human traditions, like the marriage, the, the dating, etc. And I'm like, you know what, bro? You, you can read all the books that you want. And you can read all the books about sex. You can read all about the books about anatomy. But unless you have a full interaction between a woman 
uh, or a man in her case uh, and the world of mankind you cannot purport yourself to know everything about humans you know what I'm saying like it's just like war you know you need to you need to be there to understand what the war was about you need to understand why the lives were lost that's why she didn't understand why the lives were lost like she was like why did, did this happen and obviously for world war one it was just because an archduke was shot um and i think it was the archduke of belgium or something like that right i forgot but i definitely know it's an archduke um so yeah this movie uh this movie is definitely okay in my opinion it's, it's not bad it's not fat great like everyone purported it to be i definitely think it's just because i've seen so many trailers that it hinders me from giving it a really high score um but it's definitely a start i would definitely say i definitely give this points for the visuals some of the fight sequences with the, the slow mo shots because i'm like yeah that was really needed because some scenes really needed it um and i definitely thought that this movie was better in integrating the bright side of things which is the paradise island and you know where the whole people um are there and you know it's very bright because they are the symbol of hope and uh moving into the world war one setting where it's very dark and sepia tone because it's world war one and uh definitely this movie and suicide squad is something where i really want to talk about because I definitely think this is a threat, like a tread back to his uh, 300. Uh, this movie in particular is a thread back to his 300 movie. And in Suicide Squad, it was more of his Watchmen style, which I really enjoyed. I was like, yeah, yeah, I, I really loved um, Watchmen. You know, that's my movie. You know, I really enjoyed that. I really liked the dark side of it and he can do noir really well uh zach uh zach snyder can really do noir well so i'm like yeah that, that, that's really interesting you know i i found myself to be okay with that movie but apparently some people didn't really like it and i'm sorry about the noises outside but you know what that's that's my life um and um yeah um this movie was definitely 300 because i'm like yeah it's all the the notes from 300 i definitely can see here the the fighting the slow certain slow mo shots i'm like yeah that's that's from 300 because uh, sometimes in 300 they use the slow mo shots as well and i'm like yeah that's really cool um and i wished i didn't watch so so many trailers man that that's one of the things i really regret maybe i shouldn't have watched too many trailers then i could be like oh yes this is the best movie since um since the dark knight and um i mean dc movie and obviously dc you know they want to build their own dc extended universe and i understand that and they did the, the logo uh in this one uh, before the movie started and i was like oh, okay that's pretty pretty cool uh, I, I have to say DC way to way to step up your game too um, I never show that you know you know what Marvel's doing because that I'm like yeah it's like Marvel as well <laughs> um, so I I really you know I, I really don't want to give the opinion that I do not like this movie because I do I do like this movie but it's not at the rate that everybody's liking it and uh, I do not want to give bad vibes to Zack Snyder I do not want to give off that I, I do not I do not like his movie you know for Batman v Superman as well I liked it in a comedic way Zack I'm so sorry you know it's not a really good movie but also, I'm so sorry, Zach, about all the things that happened to you. I hope you are 
I, I hope you are okay, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, uh, yeah, it just leaves me to my overall rating. Um, and uh, I definitely told you I cannot give 8.2 to this movie because, again, it's just because of the trailers. I definitely think it's... I definitely think that is the the one thing for me, for me. Um, cinematography really good. I I really enjoyed the cinematography because I'm like, yeah, this some of the re this shots are really good. Uh, again, the slow motion uh, fighting sometimes is really warranted. Uh, CGI can get a little jarring, but sometimes it's okay. Uh, side characters. I wish we knew mo a little bit more about them. I wish, I wish they had more to do to motivate uh, the main characters. You know, whether it be Wonder Woman or Chris Pine's character, I wish they did enough to be like, here you go, Wonder Woman. There's something to for you to hold on to to be like, I'm gonna do this for them and for my Amazon people. And for Chris Pine, it's like, I'm going to do this for me and the people that have brought me here today. But that doesn't happen. And I don't know why it doesn't happen, but I'm just like, I can forgive that because we didn't need a lot of side characters in this movie because it's one Woman. I just wish that there was just a little bit more motivation to why they want to do this. Obviously, Wonder Woman has her reasons. Again, it's the prophecy thing, but oh god, it is the prophecy thing. But you know what? It it works okay. I guess it works okay. God, I I did I didn't realize that until I said that. But, you know what, it's, it's still okay, because her character is very interesting, you know, she knows her stuff, but again, she is isolated in her own world, and needs to interact with the other world, to understand the other world as well, and I definitely think this was the movie to do it in, and I definitely think it is a really good integrated uh, movie towards um, Batman v Superman, I definitely think that... Uh, it's definitely warranted as a Batman v Superman storyline as well. It's just you know a sub subtextual, and obviously at the end of the third act we see her um, emailing um, Bruce Wayne, and I definitely think that we didn't really need a post credit sequence because that's been overdone anyway. And uh, I definitely think that um, the way that the way that DC leaves off things definitely gives off a way that they know how to make a movie because this is the way you should do it on a cliffhanger sort of because this type of cliffhanger is very different and I want to just take a few minutes to explain cliffhanger here a cliffhanger is where One, a t the first type of cliffhanger is like you don't end the movie well you know you just cut the movie and then you're like sequel? Huh? <laughs> and then the other type of cliffhanger is the one like in Now You See Me Too where they walk up and they look at this image and it's the, the eye of Horus and they're like and credits you know and I'm like that's a little bit better uh, but the best is this one I, I definitely think I would definitely say this the best cliffhanger is in this one it ends the movie we know what she's talking about you know she's typing to Bruce Wayne and that definitely sets up the the, 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 the chemistry between her and Bruce in um no, is this after or before Batman is... No, this is during Batman v Superman. So, it explains why uh, Wonder Woman was looking for that photo 
uh, and then it plays off well into that it just is integrated into that and gives us opportunity to look into Justice League because you know she's gonna be in Justice League and it's gonna be played into that whole scene and I, I really enjoyed that I was, I was like oh that's I was like mm-hmm. I was like oh that's that's really good that's a really good way to to end your movie set up uh Justice League and integrate it into Batman v Superman three things into one I'm like good good job well done well played um so I guess that gives extra points <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, my overall rating. I I'm I'm really thinking here because I took a day, like I I no I didn't take a day. I took a night because I I watched this at uh, four fifteen p.m. in my time, uh, but because you know it was we were delayed 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 and um, we ended up back home uh, like like I ended up back home at about like nine and I was like really tired. I was like I can't do this, um, and I just. And I just woke up too, uh, doing this. Um, and I just finished my breakfast, <laughs> and I was like, you know, <coughs> and I was like, you know what? Um, I'm ready. Uh, but maybe I'm not. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I I'm gonna give this movie seven point two out of ten. Yes. Uh, so much hate in the world today <laughs> oh god I don't I don't even know man if if spider-man is gonna be good and if it's not I'm just gonna say it's not good I'm not and I'm not gonna compare this at movies at all like Wonder Woman and spider-man obviously I'm, just, I'm gonna say the span of time and all that and, you know a little bit of things here and there but I'm not saying, you know what? Spider-Man is definitely better. Because I grew up with Spider-Man. I mean, yeah, I grew up with the Sam Raimi films, you know, I grew up with the. with the. the heart, Harvey. You start with the heart. Um, definitely the, 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 the Green Goblin. I, I enjoyed his performance. I thought that was really fun for me when I was a kid, but now I'm, I was, uh, now I'm grown up and like. Oh boy, <laughs> that was really heavy. Um, so yeah, this this movie, I would, I would definitely say you can catch it on DVD and you won't miss much because, again, it's just because I watched too many of the trailers. Uh, so yeah, guys, this is about it. I will see you in the next video. See you then. Mm-hmm.